richer fella said he'd bring the money later. Well, how much they going to pay you? Well, uh, he said I'd depend some on how much oil they could pump out. But you must have mentioned some figure. What was it? Well, now, Pearl, you know that old swamp one. What oh. shucks. Jake Clampett, you got slicked and you're ashamed to admit it. That's just what I told you. Granny, how much they gonna pay him? All right, I'll tell you. He said it run somewhere between 25 and 100. 25 and 100? I know it don't sound like much, but Mr. Brewster seemed to set great store by the fact he's gonna pay me in some new kind of dollar. There ain't no new kind of dollar. Well, it's new to me. I've heard of gold dollars, silver dollars, paper dollars, but he says he's gonna pay me in, uh, what do you call them, Granny? Million dollars. <laughs> What do you think, Pearl? You think I ought to move? <laughs> Jed, how can you even ask? Look around you. You're eight miles from your nearest neighbor. You're overrun with skunks, possums, coyotes, bobcats. You use kerosene lamps for light. You cook on a wood stove summer and winter. You're drinking homemade moonshine, washing with homemade lye soap. And your bathroom is 50 feet from the house and you ask, should you move? <laughs> yeah, I reckon you're right. Man, be a dang fool to leave all this. <laughs> Eventually, Cousin Pearl convinced Jed to take the family to Beverly Hills, where they moved into this big old mansion and began their new life. Of course, it took them a little while to adjust. Uncle Jed! Guess what? There's a whole other house up here. <laughs> Guess we'll come down from there. Like as not that belonged to somebody else. There goes that spooky music. Coming out of the walls again. Boy, it's pretty. Where'd you see this chicken? Down by the cement pond. <laughs> cement pond? Uncle Jed, that pond is the fanciest thing you ever did see. Why, they are steps. So the cattle can walk right down into it and get a drink. <laughs> When we's done washing, can I go swimming here in the cement pond? Of course not. I don't allow nobody splash around in my wash water. So ain't there no place else you can wash? The cement pond's the only water we got. Place ain't got a well, it ain't got a creek. It ain't even got a rain barrel to catch what comes out of the sky. <laughs> music in the walls again. <laughs> Come out of there, you gong ring and goomer, you! What are you doing, Granny? That rascal that plays the music in the walls is right behind there. Put your ear again. You can hear him beating them gongs plain as anything. <laughs> Granny, you can hear that coming from every wall in the house. Must be a whole family of them. <laughs> I can't get that green tablecloth off. They'll save me. Stuck on me? Can't imagine anybody to lay a clean tablecloth on a sticky table. Yeah, Granny, I reckon all women ain't as thick a span as you are when it comes to keeping house. Here you are, Granny. Set it in the middle of the table so we'll see if these pot pastors reach. <laughs> This here table is what you call a billiard table. Hmm. And, and you know what I got figured out? Why? This here rascal must be what you call a billiard. <laughs> Dang, did you have to right? Every time that music plays, somebody comes to the door. <laughs> now, the Clampets certainly had lots of questions about Beverly Hills, and folks in Beverly Hills had a lot of questions about them. A lot of people ask about Aunt Pearl. Whose aunt was she, anyway? And what was the deal with Granny? We went to some old friends in Hooterville to find out the answer. Oliver, Took her. Oliver, why was Aunt Pearl Jethro's mother, but Uncle Jed was there just his uncle? Well, everybody called her Aunt Pearl. Everybody. Well, I, I never called my mother Aunt. Strictly speaking, Granny ain't your Granny. 
She's Ellie's granny. You see, your ma, who is my cousin Pearl, is Ellie's great aunt on account of her ma, and my pa was brother and sister. And that makes us first cousins. Now, I married Granny's daughter, so Pearl, by marriage, that is to say, my pa would be... Well, anyway, I think you're a grandnephew. Thank you. I think you're a swell uncle, too.